Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So last week we did the install of 5800X, the Ryzen 7, uh, into the Be Quiet Silent 802 uh, case with the um, water cooler. So, but I didn't have a chance because I didn't have time to do the um, temperatures and how it performs in games and all that kind of stuff. So I've got a whole bunch of different ones. If you want to see the final score of how it does in 3D Mark, watch to the end and you'll see where it comes up. Uh, but I did uh, stress testing and a whole bunch of other different tests. You'll see them throughout. Um, I did not use a screen recorder because I simply didn't have, have it set up and I think it shows pretty good either way. Um, so watch it let me know what you think. And uh, here we go. Okay, so some of the testing I'm going to do I had to upgrade the uh, Eta64 Extreme that I'm using here uh, because it didn't recognize the CPU and uh, of course all the new stuff and everything so I just wanted to show you it's recognizing it now all our different uh, settings everything like that now we're sitting at 32 between 32 and 38 so let's start a test and see what happens so we're gonna let it run for about five minutes and we'll see what it gets to. So, looks like right now it's saying 75 and jump to 77. So we'll come back after um, five minutes, maybe a little longer, and see where it stays, where it settles. Okay, so we're up to about the uh, five minute mark and it went to about uh, 81. It's fluctuating back and forth a little bit, but that's pretty much where it's staying at 100% load. Now keep in mind, if you're gaming, you're not gonna get to those levels, so don't worry about it too much. But it is keeping it super cool most of the time at between 32 and 38 degrees. Um, this is the latest updated version of the Eta 64 Extreme. Uh, the earlier version came across at 37 degrees straight across the board, which of course I knew was wrong. So upgrading this version to be able to show me what's going on uh, was well worth it. So we just hit 82 back down to 81 and that's what it's been doing pretty much this whole time. And we're at about just shy of the six minute mark. So let's on to the next test and see what happens. So the next test I want to run is on Cinnabon Chari 20. So we're going to do that and see what happens. I've already ran it once, but uh, I wanted to show it to you on video. So here we go. So it's going to perform its render task, pass number one. And we're just going to let that go and see what happens and see what our score winds up being. And just in case you're wondering, right there, 6079 was our first pass. Now I did that, I'm not sure I had the updated information for the program, so it's updated now. And we're going to see if we still get that kind of a score or what we get. You can see it's drawing it really fast. So that's the key for me is just how well does it perform. That's it, 6076, pretty much the same as last time. Now, just to point out that this is not overclock, anything like that, stock settings, all that kind of good stuff with the uh, Be Quiet water cooler on it. Okay, so here I'm running uh, user benchmark, benchmark software. It's a free download you can find online and it will come up and give you comparisons and tell you everything about your system. So we're going to let it finish and uh, see what it tells us as far as how fast it can run and all that kind of good stuff. So we'll let it finish and see what we get. Okay, so here's our results. Shows you uh, our motherboard uh, for gaming 100%, 112%, 100 108% desktop and 115% workstation. So pretty much a uh, well-rounded uh, PC. Of course, you can see PC status. Uh, it's performing above expectations in the 70th percentile, whatever that means. Uh, processor, outstanding single core, uh, single core score. Uh, graphics, 104% in a 3D score. Considering that's just a 1080, it's still pretty darn good. Uh, basically tells you some information about your boot drive, memory, uh, 32 gig, and uh, that it can run pretty much any application. And that your OS, so it basically gets you uh, all that kind of good stuff. So I just thought that might be of interest to people. So we'll move on to another uh, testing program. So 
So a few more things I just wanted to show you as well is it gives you um, this program is pretty good. So it gives you your CPU benchmark uh, results, eighteen thousand nine seventy two user benchmark, uh, benchmark uh, average benchmark one hundred percent. Gives you all your stats over here. Hopefully you can all see that. Gives you even your graphics card. Uh, what the price is today of five seventy nine, which I find really hard to believe, but given prices today, that's probably quite possible and the operating system uh, SSD the uh, 2 terabyte uh, NVMe drive and a 4 terabyte Western Digital drive and uh, it's got a few more results on here just show you your memory system uh, memory latency ladder and pretty much that's it it shows you pick a game you want to play and all that kind of good stuff which pretty much is most of them even uh, Cyberpunk 2077. A few more results of uh, pricing and all that kind of good stuff. All right. That's pretty much it. And, of course, even down below it even says, can you run it? See, that's what the, uh, all this is, is if you want to pick one, you can see if it will run the program or not. Now we'll move on to the other program. Okay, so we're running the benchmark for Rise of the Tomb Raider. It's a very good uh, place to start from. You can see our, uh, all our settings, everything up here. So your graphics card is running at 58 degrees at 14, 18 megahertz. Now this is a 1080 uh, GTX. So memory being used, your CPU is 6%. RAM is not quite 7 uh, gigabyte. And uh, the FPS is 75 frames per second. Now when you look over on the far right, I'm using HW Info 64. And our temperature is shown there. Right now, they're getting to about 53, and uh, we'll see what this gets to after it's all done. So I'm just going to let this run. You can have a look at it. Hopefully you can see it all. I'm just going to zoom in on that a little bit for you. There, so hopefully you can see that a little better now. So our temperatures right now on this benchmark are uh, heading about 43. 75 FPS. And that's what it said at, so not bad. Okay, so we're going to run the Time Spy benchmarks on this, and we'll come back to it afterward. On the top left up here, we can see our GPU running at 61 degrees. Uh, our memory, CPU, uh, 23, 25%. Our RAM is just below 7 gig, and our FPS. Now, with the new CPUs, some of the software hasn't been updated for it, so I am going to have to check to verify that this is actually going to be accurate. But we'll come back at the end and see what we have. So right now it's testing the CPU on this particular one. And it's gotten fairly high in the FPS and the frames and everything. Um, this is a little bit better test on that one. Um, but we'll see what comes up next here. Our temperatures are sitting around 60 degrees just so you can see it on the right if you have a look there. And there's our score, 7693, which is coming up as excellent. Okay, average is uh, 8,003, and the best is 9,022. So I'm pretty happy with the graphic score. CPU score is 11,919. Facts don't lie, folks. And the temperature, can't go wrong with what that was. And let's just scroll down here a little bit and see if there's some more information. So there's our system info, our CPU, what the graphics card was running at just 1080p because uh, I need a better GPU. Um, graphics score or FPS. I don't know why they're so low in this benchmark, but anyway. Anyhow. So I did, I did just want to show you that it did come up as being a valid result. Score of 7693 with the GTX uh, 1080. Alright, so we saw that it was 11,000. 919 I believe it was and there's our premium gaming PC of 19781 and there's mine right there so better than 62% of all results all right so and but just scroll down in case you're interested in all this information of our memory GPU of course our CPU which is the focus of this video all right 7 nanometer 105 watts and our operating system and storage. 
Hi everybody. So there's the video. If you like it, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Hit that bell for future videos as they come up. And if you're new here, think about subscribing. Um, I'm pretty impressed with the way it performed. Everything went pretty much the way I expected, uh, having watched uh, some other videos from other YouTubers that I watch. Um, so the expectations did not disappoint. Um, the FPS in uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider were a little bit low, I think 75 FPS. But I think that's pretty standard across uh, the platforms of how that game in particular works. Um, not sure why that is, but uh, anyhow, if you like it, hope you like it. If you got any comments, leave them down below. And uh, thanks for watching.